Hey guys, thanks for watching. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe here to Fino Boxing and follow us at all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing and my personal one is at Adriana underscore sports. Adriana Jimenez joined here with the undefeated, highly regarded prospect, Evan Holyfield. Evan, great to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. We're excited to see you back in action this Saturday. Um, you know, we, we know that you last were in the ring early in the year in March. You, you, you made your debut in November and were in fights back to back to back. And then, of course, COVID happens and, and, and you take a break. So how excited are you to get back in there finally after all these months? I'm really excited to show everybody what I've learned. And um, just the fact of just being back in the ring is, is a great thing. Um, and it's a blessed opportunity to get one right before the year ends. Absolutely. You know, still early in your career, you're 4-0, uh, three knockouts. This is going to be your fifth fight. Um, talk to me about the progression that your, your career has uh, been going through. I, I mentioned, you know, of course, you had that big break because of COVID. We all did. But uh, how did you feel um, within those fights back to back to back from, from amateur to, to professional? Can you put into words how, how good that transition felt for you? Um, the transition felt, um, it was definitely a learning experience for my first fight to be on such a big stage with the Canelo, with the Canelo Kovalev in the car. But it was also a blessing to be on a car like that. Um, I really didn't get too much experience that fight because, you know, it was only 16 seconds. But the past three fights have been a tremendous experience, especially the last one for me to go um, the full distance. I learned a lot from that fight and um, I plan on capitalizing some of the mistakes I made and I understand everything's just a learning experience. Um, it's been a blessing coming through everything. And um, I've learned a lot about the boxing industry so far. And um, I just plan on just to keep on moving forward and progressing. Now, this Saturday night in Georgia, um, I'm sure you're looking forward to give the fans a, a show there. You know, how can you put into words what you want fans to see from you that night? What can we expect from you? Well, um, I got a, I'm with a whole new training staff right now. Um, I'm back down in Atlanta where, you know, I pretty much came up through the amateur ranks with, I'm with, the, um, my, with my former team and uh, with a new addition of Mark Breland. So I feel like uh, what I expect to see, or I don't know, it's going to be a good performance because, you know, Mark Breland's actually been helping me work, work on some tools and um, um, adding some new elements to my game and, just being back here, I feel like, um, yeah, I've been around a lot of good energy, good people, and um, the sparring workout here has been well. Um, everybody's brought up and, you know, it's been some tough sparring, some tough sparring days and some tough training days. And um, I feel like I really sacrificed for this camp and I really came, came to do something better. And I've been having a um, better image in mind of what I want to do. And uh, I feel like, you know, as you're going to see more of a style out of me and that's just, just a uh, – you know, anxious, not anxious, but, you know, a real fighter, you know, you're going to see, you're going to see some boxing, you know. You know, going back to your, your pro debut at the Canelo Kovalev, I, I remember talking to your dad and he was uh, super excited to see you, you know, become a professional. I also talked to your mom and she was really nervous. That's another story, but, um, you know, with your dad, I mean, obviously legends there, what kind of the conversations that, that he has with your advice that he gives you? Um, he always tells me, you know, keep a level head. And um, really what I do is, like, um, the work I put in is really what I get out. But he's been by recently to see me train. He was pretty impressed to see the progression I've, I've been having um, back down in Atlanta. And um, he just really just wants me to be focused and just keep working hard. That's the, you know, that's the name of the game. Um, I've been in the gym all this time for the whole pandemic, not because – you know, I really had to, but because I really wanted to, you know, it's just yeah. something that I just really enjoy. So he, he likes to see that. And um, like he says, it's all about um, staying ready, not getting ready. You know, speaking of, of your dad, we, we thought we were going to see him against Mike Tyson. But in turn, that, that fight, you know, it became Tyson against Roy Jones. Real quick, if I could just get your thoughts on, on that fight that, that played out a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, I was actually very impressed by Mike Tyson. For him to not have to fight for as long as he as long as he has and you know, we all watch his we all watch Mike Tyson's YouTube videos. So I know some of us do, you know. He be smoking a lot of weed. So I was pretty impressed to see he <laughs> has some good wind on him too. 
So um, as far as that, I feel like I feel like it was a good thing for the sports world to see because everybody would, you know, everybody likes Mike Tyson, and um, but watching the fight. I, I didn't really uh, think it was a draw, but hey, it's all for charity, and uh, you know it really doesn't matter at the end of the point. As long as both of them came out with good health and they had a good time, that's all that mattered. What do you think the chances are for a possible fight between your dad and Mike Tyson now? I think I think it's about to, I think it's going to go down from from what I've been hearing. Um, so you know if that's if that's the case, I know my dad's been training, and it's not like he's getting back into shape. So um, I know it's something that my dad probably been wanting since he's been training for all that time for, not for no reason, but it seemed like for no reason at the time, but it's all paying off. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like if everybody stays in good health and is going towards a good cause, which is charity, it's the best thing that can happen. Why not? Your dad's, I've, I've seen the videos that your dad put up too. He looks in great shape. How, what do you think of uh, how he's looking? Hey, he's, he's looking kind of swollen. I'm not talking like a great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and so this, this fight, if, if this fight takes place between your dad, Evander Holyfield, and Mike Tyson, this trilogy, how does this trilogy play out? How does your dad beat Mike Tyson? Uh, I feel like if he beats Mike Tyson, you know, he just does what he does. The, he did the first two times, you know. This just kind of seems like, you know, water and water and oil don't always mix. And, you know. My dad it seems to be Mike Tyson's oil to his water. So, um, you know, we'll just have to see. All right. We will see. Evan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Talk to us. I wish you the best of luck this Saturday night. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Good All luck. right, Adriana. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.